This is uh, Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. I'm running the Turn 270 Pro today. Um, this is a tutorial on how the software works to, to drive the system. Uh, previously, I had used uh, the Turn 2D and uh, designed this, this comp component that we're about to use. So, right here, this is the file from before. This, if this not's up, this is the offsets. So you click offsets and that pops up. And then you're gonna, I like to organize myself, so bring this up here, bring that over. And this activates this panel here. As soon as I do that, it erases the memory from before. It's a stepper drive, not a servo, so it doesn't know where it is. So we're gonna click home both axes, and that's what's happening now. Um, so now you can see this is the program. So first thing we gotta do, program's loaded, is we have to teach it where the, uh, we have the X or zero and X or Y, zero or X and zero or Y. So we're going to go into jog mode. In jog mode, I'm going to turn on manual spindle. Spindle forward. It's spinning slowly right now, 400 RPM. I'm going to bump it up to 2800. And you're going to control the jog speed here. I'm, I'm going to jog the tool over into position. I'm going to zero out the Y axis first. Just start Z axis first. I keep thinking like CNC. So I'm moving it closer quite rapidly. I don't want to hit too hard, so now I'm going to slow it down um, to something like about that. Tap it in closely until I touch the front. I know I built secure. I'm skimming the front end. Now I'm moving the X axis out. So now I've got it. What I do now is I'm going to zero my Z. Click on this. Zero the offset. And click OK. And you can see that zeroes it. Now I'm going to zero the z-axis, or sorry, the x-axis. So I've got to go back here, click on the jog, bring it in. Now I'm just going to skim the outside billet again. It's slow. I'm listening for it to touch. As soon as it touches, there you go. I'm just touch the billet and walk it back out on the uh, moving the z-axis out to the right, z-positive. Now, I've touched the billet, so I'm going to go into the, this zero my distance to zero. And I know that this is 25.4 millimeters, which is the billet diameter, so then it automatically calculates that. Click OK. Now I've zeroed everything. So now, back to the auto screen, click on auto. And so I've zeroed my X, zeroed my Z, got it in auto. I can click down here, click play says are you sure and I'm say yeah absolutely bring it on I hit run goes back to the home position now it's gonna come in fast and it's gonna skimming the front billet Didn't quite skimmed it it's taking a nice big chunk off the front you can see the feed rate this is actually it says speed rate here but I've actually got it set to um, rotation, move, uh, moves forward on rotation. 2800 RPM. And we're gonna continue letting it run. And you can see the program here, it's coming down. You can see where it is at all times. So the feed rate, again, is not actually set to surface like this. It's actually set to uh, millimeters per minute. It's actually set to rotation. And you do that within the, uh, the previous software, the, the design turn. So it's just finishing some roughing passes. Taking off some nice cuts. The billet's sticking out of the chuck about four inches. Not seeing much flex at all. It's looking nice. Roughing pass is finished, and now it moves in to do its finishing pass.
using a carbide cutter, right hand tool inverted. Again, this is a Denford, Denford uh, Turn 270 Pro, British machine. And that's it, the machine's homed.